Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe After Effects CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to 3D motion track text in a point in your video. So I've got a clip open on my timeline, and this is going to work best with clips where there's camera movement. So if there's not any camera movement, it's a still shot, it's not really going to work best for 3D motion tracking. But you can see here, there's a perfect example. We've got a wall, we've got a ground, and the camera is moving forward and looking around. So what you want to do is go to window and open up the tracker panel if you don't see it on the right hand side. Here you should see a couple buttons. So you want to make sure that your clip is highlighted. So movie 1474 in my case, I'm highlighting it and then press track camera. Now what this is going to do is going to analyze each frame and it's going to create a bunch of points. So you can see here on the left, it's initializing and then it'll give me a percentage once it's ready. So you can see here, six, seven, eight percent. This is a, only a few seconds long of a clip, so it's not gonna take too long. If you have a long clip, it might not work so well, but this is good for short segments where you wanna add special effects of text and things like that, maybe for intro. So I'll catch up with you guys when this is all done analyzing the frames. All right, so once it's done analyzing, you should see a whole bunch of colored little points come up. And these are all the different places that the camera was tracked. So when you move your mouse around, you should see this little circle target that kind of tells you what frame or angle that it found. So you can see most of these are pretty accurate. If I click on one specific dot and highlight it, you won't see a circle. That's because you can place text on that point so it just follows that dot. Or if you click your mouse in between several points, like in between these three separate points, it'll kind of triangulate to position. So let me create, let me actually scrub forward a little bit here and find a good open space on the wall. Like this looks perfect. And also if you go on the left here, you can adjust the track point size. You can make them a little bit larger so you can see what's going on better if you can't see them. So let's create some text right here on the wall. It'll triangulate in between these three sections. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and click create text and camera. Now I have a text object for me to begin editing. So you should see a text object pop up as kind of a layer. And then what you can do is double click on it to edit what it says. So I can type out and make it say whatever I want. Remember we're working in the window character panel when, you're, when it comes to text. So you can see that is on my right hand side. I can change the font if I highlight it. I can change the size of the text, whatever I want to do here. But you can see it's kind of off the screen and it's not exactly where I wanted it to be. So you can also drop down this transform section on the actual layer and you can scale the position over a little bit if you want to pull it off the wall or make it float or make it a little higher. And you can also adjust things like the or orientation. So if I wanted it to be vertical or sticking out of the wall like a sign or something like that. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep it like so. So now when I press play on that text, you see it sticks exactly on the plane that we put it and it moves with the camera. So I can just go back to my clip, adjust that track point size so I can see the track points again. And let me show you another example of how I could do this. So I'll make sure my selection tool is highlighted again by pressing V. And now I can go around and click on another different point. So let me show you what happens if I just click one point instead of creating a plane. So if I just click this point on one of these little yellow things and right click and create text, what that'll do is it'll just stick that point exactly on that frame and the camera will kind of move past it in 3D motion. So let's take that text object. Let me adjust what it says. And sometimes you might have to adjust the scale of things just so things become more visible and kind of adjust the position and anchor point to be where you want it. So let's see what this one looks like where I just placed it on one point. So I'll click and press play and you can see it kind of just sticks to that point in the frame and the closer the camera gets, the more it moves away, but it's still there. Lastly, let's just go back and add one onto the ground for a final example. I'll right click in between these three. That looks like it's about even. Create text and then I'll make the text say whatever I want. And then depending on how I want it, I'll drop down this menu. I'll go to the transform section and I'll adjust the positioning and the size and, and slight rotation of this just to kind of elevate it off the ground or keep it right on the ground. And remember, you can create different interesting effects with these as well, like the opacity, whatever you want to do with keyframes. 
as well to animate these effects while they're being motion tracked. And you can see all of the text layers stick to exactly the points that I wanted on and it works really well to create an interesting effect for whatever you want to do. So if you guys enjoyed this video, then definitely leave a like on it below. As I said in the little text examples, subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for future videos on photo and video editing and follow me on social media at Just Snow D Show on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that if you want to send me links or examples or have any questions. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.